Russia to settle cross-border payments using stablecoins and trademarks related to crypto keep being filed uh, in the year 2022. The number is growing. And Solana, Solana transactions approach the 100 million despite all the challenges. So what's going on with Russia and uh, stable coins and all the sanctions the US has on them? What they are doing now is uh, they're gonna be uh, using stable coins in order to trade with other countries. Now, they, the stable coins they will be using are backed by commodities. Like, uh, for example, a stable, stable coin could be backed by oil or by copper, copper or any other type of material, any other type of commodity. Deputy Finance Minister Alexei Malsayev has confirmed that Russia is working with crypto-friendly countries to facilitate cross-border payments using stablecoins as sanctions from the US and UK mount. So, fortunately for them, there is other alternatives to the dollar and uh, the US will try to uh, do something about uh, this other methods of payments. They will probably try to uh, talk to the influence, the, the countries that are doing businesses, business with, with Russia. They will probably try to uh, influence them by uh, either, either by force or by helping them with money in order so that they can stop doing business with Russia. Uh, because uh, with all these uh, new forms of digital payments, things uh, have changed. And now these countries that uh, once were blocked by the U.S. from doing businesses with the world will have other methods of making payments. Head of the Ministry of Finance, Ivan Chavaskov, argued that a viable stablecoin could be backed by Russia's currency rubble or any physical asset, such as gold, oil, or grain, to guarantee face value redemptions. So that is what's going on uh, with Russia and the sanctions. Uh, we will see if they are able to uh, pull it off and, and do businesses with other countries, even though there will probably be interference by uh, the UK and the US. Let's go over to uh, crypto related uh, trademarks. So the number of trademarks, at least in the US, uh, have grown over the year 2021. Uh, this year, I believe there has been so far about uh, 3,500. And uh, last year, there was about 3,500. But uh, we still have four months left in 2022. I'm going to read this uh, article. The total amount of crypto trademark filings was 3,500 for the whole of 2021. Okay, so actually in 2021, it was 2,500. So I, I, uh, I said uh, that it, there was 3,500 for 20 so far, but no, it was uh, for 2021, for last year, 3,500, which is significantly less than the exact number of patents so far this year filed with the U.S. Patent and Trademark Office. So at this point, there is almost 4,000 trademark 
uh, filings. And uh, last year, total 3,500. And so far, 2022, 3,900 3, pretty much. You could say 4,000 soon before the end of the year. Given that data is up until the end of... Uh, Given that data is up until the end of August, it is reasonable to assume that more applications will be made for the next four months. So as we can see in this graph, it shows uh, the month of March was the highest. It's slowing down, uh, probably slowing down as well, you know, with the economy. But um, already we uh, have more... Uh, patent and trademarks filed than last year that just goes to show that even though there were in a bear market the uh crypto uh, the crypto uh technology is is just gonna keep growing and it does not matter if it's a bear market so that is what's going on crypto keeps uh, on moving forward now let's go to Solana and Solana finally will approach the 100 million uh, transactions. Solana based transactions approach 100 million despite challenging 2022. The Solana network continues to record to record development as the blockchain strives to take unstable and unestablished platforms like Ethereum, a factor that has translated into increased activity. At the same time, the network is battling challenges related to blockchain efficiency, but transactions on the platform appear on the tear. In particular, as far as September 6th, the Solana number of transaction was a few million shy of hitting the 100 million milestone, standing at 96,000, 96,446,814,265. Uh, so Solana has had a lot of problems in the past, uh, I believe it's been at least four times that the whole uh, network has had to shut down uh, because it's not able to handle the transactions. Uh, at one point, it was also hacked. Now, what do I think of Solana? I, I think Solana, even though it has all those problems, we see that they keep working on fixing them. And uh, as far as a, as far as a uh, investment goes, I think Solana is still gonna be there in the future due to the people. I think Solana will be a good, is a good investment because of the people that are uh, backing them. Um, we have, uh, Alameda Research, they are still invested. They were, uh, since the beginning, they were with uh, Solana, but even currently, they are still invested in in, in Solana. Uh, also, uh, Coin Fund uh, are also invested with them, and they are working with uh, Alameda Research. Now, Alameda Research, is the the basically they, they just have uh, too much money um the uh i think the ceo is uh sam bankman fried the guy that is bailing out a lot of the failing crypto exchanges and um as long as alameda research is backing solana my opinion is that uh, Solana is not going to die during the bear market and will go on to another to another uh, bull market. Now, 
will it ever uh, be number one and and basically and basically replace Ethereum? I don't know. No one knows. Uh, Ethereum has uh, been there for a long time. Has a lot of issues with the uh, gas fees, with the fees for for each transaction. And uh, but they they have the the number one, the first mover advantage, and they've been around for a long time. So I don't think that Solana will replace them, but uh, they will definitely be close to Ethereum if all the issues get fixed. Now, if, especially if you're a new investor, I think Solana is a good investment. I mean, this is uh, my opinion. Do not buy Solana because of anything I say. This is just my opinion. But uh, look at the price a year ago. At one point, it got up to $260. Right now, it's at $30. What do you think it's going to happen with if it survives the bear market and then uh, there is a, a new bull market and Solana is still there? Solana will very likely get back to all-time highs. Now, in new bull markets, uh, the all-time highs are always eclipsed by new all-time highs. So I do see Solana going up to probably uh, 600 in, in the future. Right now it's at 30. So uh, if you are, uh, especially if you're a new investor, I think $30 is uh, it's a great price. Now, I believe that we still have uh, the bear market. I believe in the in the crypto market. There's we still have another dip uh, because of the whole uh, economy around the world, the the way the Fed is trying to slow down. Uh, I mean, to lower inflation, they will slow down the economy because they will keep increasing. Uh, interest rates so I believe uh, this price uh, due to the whole inflation and uh, and probably a recession because the Federal Reserve they already came out and they said we are going to get to 2% inflation right now it's at 8.5 I believe uh, which is almost impossible for them to get it to, to 2%. But uh, Jerome Powell says that he's uh, willing. I mean, that it that, that's basically their goal, to get to 2%. Now, for that, uh, they're going to slow down the economy. So I believe this price, 30 could get a lot lower. Uh, it could go to $15. I'm not sure. But, um, or even less, it depends on how it goes with uh, a recession and, and, and the, uh, if inflation goes down fast enough. But uh, yeah, I think it's, as far as an investment, I think it's still, it's gonna survive the bear market. I don't know if it will replace Ethereum, unlikely, but will it be alive at the next bull market? I believe so, and we will see new all time highs. Forget to use this 260. It's going to be way higher than that. But that has been, uh, this has been the state of uh, crypto. Subscribe and hit the like button. Thank you.